Hi everyone, my name is Peter. Welcome to Our Worship Sound. Even if you play music by ear or by chords, you've probably found yourself at times wanting to be able to read music a little bit. And I want to show you quickly in this video how you can read any note on the staff. So first of all, we need to start with something called the clef. Now traditionally, we would call that a treble clef and this a bass clef. Okay? The problem with that is that we don't get any useful information from calling it that. So what we're going to do is we're going to call these the G clef and the F clef. We call this the G clef because it wraps around this second staff, second line of the staff, and that's where G is. And this one highlights where F is in the bass clef. So if we call this a G clef, we can know that this note on the second line is G. Okay, from there we're gonna use two things. We're gonna know that uh, notes go up and down the staff according to line space, line space. And we're gonna use the musical alphabet which goes A through G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on. So if this is G, our next note higher is going to be A on the space. And then the next note up is going to be on a line. And then we just go space, line, space, line. And if this is G, this is A, B, C, D, E, and F. From there, the next note up is going to be above the fifth line. That's G. And then we've run out of lines, so we need to start adding extra lines. They're called ledger lines for extra high or extra low notes. So the note on the first ledger line is A, and then we go above the first ledger line, and that's B. Okay, and from there we just keep adding more and more ledger lines for as many as we need. Okay, to go down we need to go backward in the musical alphabet. So knowing that this is the G clef and this is G, we can go down from there to the first space and go backwards in the musical alphabet, that's F. First line is E. Below the first line is D, and the first ledger line below the staff is C. Below the first ledger line is B, and then we can keep going from there. Okay, that's all there is to it. Down here we have the F clef, because it highlights this fourth line of the staff, and that's where F is. To go up, we go space line, space line, so we go F, G, A, B, C on the first ledger line, D above the first ledger line, and so on. To go down, line, space, line, space, line, space, and so on. We just go backward in the musical alphabet, F, E, D, C, B, A, okay? There's only one more thing to um, alter what this, ha what this does, and that is um, sometimes we'll have sharp or flat symbols in what we call the key signature, that space right after the clef. So if we have one sharp after the treble clef or the G clef, it'll be here, and that's on the F line. So what this tells us is that all the Fs will be sharp, everything else will be natural, okay? Two sharps will be F sharp and C sharp, it just says the Fs and Cs will be sharp, everything else will be natural, okay? We'll use the, the F clef for our next, next example using flats. If we have one flat, it'll be B flat, and that just says that all the Bs will be flat, everything else will be natural and then the next one will be E flat and so on. So sometimes if you see a note out here, we can know that this is F, E, D, C, B, but we know from our key signature that it's B flat. So that's really as simple as it gets. Just use the line space, line space and your musical alphabet and you can figure out any note on a musical staff. So thanks for watching, I hope that was helpful. We'll see you soon.